When the Giants hired Joe Shane last year, he inherited an absolute mess. You know, he had his full complement of draft picks and he effectively used them, but the rest of the roster really didn't have that much talent and Shane really didn't have any means to add talent because of the cap hell Dave Gettleman left this roster in. The majority of Shane's first season as a result was spent cleaning up Gettleman's mess. You know, he had to get rid of those players with bad contracts. He had to rework the numbers. He had to finally find a way or try to find a way to get the Giants financially healthy. Well, now the Giants are. After a few more expected moves, they should have near $60 million or over $60 million in salary cap space to begin this offseason. Now, before the Giants start going crazy in free agency, adding player from this team or a player from that team or a player from another team, they need to take care of their own. As Shane talked about on Tuesday, there are a number of players in-house that the Giants need to pay, that they want back, and that they have to find a way to get a deal done with. The top two? Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. Now, the Giants have a number of ways that they can get deals done. They have their franchise tag who they could use on both. They could try to find a market value to extend both long term. Uh, as Joe Shane said, he wants to get something done with both Jones and Barkley. It's just a matter of finding the middle ground. Good news for the Giants, though. They finally have a means to find that middle ground because they're through the mess that Gettleman created and they can really start to build this thing.